I'm Nisa Jackson, Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Well, we are in March and it's time to talk about some tropical systems, but I'm not talking about in the Atlantic. In fact, there's one that meteorologists around the world are keeping an eye on in the Indian Ocean because it is becoming nearly certain it's going to become the longest living tropical cyclone in recorded history. And this is way out here in the parts of the Indian waters. And this is an impressive system because of how far it's traveled and what may end up happening with it here over the next couple of days. So here is Freddy. You can see it developed out here over the coast of Indonesia. And this developed way back when on February the 6th. That is the system right there. It was named a tropical cyclone. And then it continued to cruise westward across the open waters of the Indian Ocean. It ended up making a couple of landfalls near Africa. And on March the 7th, it is still around near Madagascar. Just a remarkable run. It's been around for 30 straight days. And again, it will likely become the longest living tropical cyclone. Freddie's already made two landfalls in Africa. The first landfall was on the island of Madagascar. Uh, that occurred earlier in or very early in March. And that was a pretty significant strike. We did have some deaths with that along the east coast of Madagascar. Then it proceeded to make a second landfall here on the east coast of Mozambique. So kind of get your bearings right here. This is the east coast of Africa. South Africa would be at the very bottom of your screen. So again, along eastern sections of Africa, we had a landfall in southern areas of Mozambique. Most meteorologists thought that was going to be it with this system. However, it has moved back into this channel between Madagascar and Mozambique and it's intensified further. In fact, it's back to becoming a tropical cyclone and it looks like a third landfall is highly likely as we move into the weekend. In fact, Freddie will likely make landfall in central sections of Mozambique, potentially as a pretty significant uh, cyclone, and they're called cyclones over hurricanes in this part of the world. That would likely occur here in this corridor in kind of central sections of Mozambique, where again, flooding rain, significant damage to homes and structures will become very possible. So by the time it's all said and done here, Freddie will likely last 33, maybe even 34 days, and that will break the all-time record. So the longest lived system was back in 1994. This was Hurricane John. It cruised through much of the Pacific Ocean. It didn't really impact anybody. It was a remarkable stretch where it got somewhat close to the Hawaiian Islands and some military bases on these atolls, but that was about it. Here's Freddie currently sitting at 30 days, so it'll move up to 31 heading into Wednesday. The other two longest lived storms is an 1899 storm that impacted Puerto Rico. The estimate is 28 days. This is before the satellite air, so we don't know definitively, but this was one for the record books. This is one of the, the most intense hurricanes to ever hit Puerto Rico, and Hurricane Tina in 1992 was also in the Pacific Ocean. It lasted 24 days, and just like John, it ended up staying mainly out to sea. So Freddie's going to be one for the record books, a very odd hurricane that traveled for over 5,000 miles across the Indian Ocean and will likely make a third landfall in Mozambique heading into the weekend. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, the local station.